Oh, welcome back. So nice to finally meet you. If you thought your bust-ups with your mum were bad, think again. In New Sky original comedy, Two Weeks to Live, Maisie Williams takes it to a new level. She plays a kick-ass survivalist avenging the death of her dad. She can build a landmine, scale any wall, and do hand-to-hand -hand combat with the best of them. But it doesn't stop her and her mum, played by Sean Clifford, bickering about the tiniest things. The Sun asked parenting expert Liat Hughes Joshi and telecritic Jamie East to look at why this mother-daughter combo ticks all the right boxes. So the thing is, I've made these landmines myself and it looks like it's malfunctioned, but I do want to disarm it just to be sure. Mm -hmm. Please don't tell my mum it malfunctioned. I'm so the worst, right? In two weeks to live, Kim goes out into the real world. She's never stepped inside a supermarket. Fish don't even have fingers. She's never ordered a pint. I am so sorry. And certainly never kissed anyone. But mum, played by Sean, is coming after her. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, oh my head. You okay? Oh, maybe I wouldn't have to put you in a bag if you didn't just. There is no didn't... reasonable end to that sentence. How do you not understand that? When you watch the best comedies, they do draw on those normal everyday interactions and then they magnify them and exaggerate them. Kim is clearly desperate to leave the nest and sort of build her own identity. It's a really normal dynamic to have with a parent. It's just exaggerated between them. It's nice, isn't it? Just the two of us in the woods. Digging a grave. And I'm very proud of you. Really, really proud. Seeing Maisie and Sean together was, was really good. They had some really good chemistry there. They're so alike, yet so different, which is symptomatic, I think, of a lot of mother and daughter relationships in real life, is that the mother sees so much of themselves in the daughter, and that terrifies them. Overwhelmingly, though, there's a real sense of unconditional love between the pair of them. You love someone so much, but actually, you know, at the same time, you cannot blum and stand them. Roger that, Mum, and for the record, I'm still super angry with you. Okay, please don't say out before I've had the chance to answer. It's really annoying. Oh, understood. Over and out. You just spoke right over me. Do you realise that? Radio comms only, please, Kimmy. Thank you. Out. Teenagers and young adults today have this reputation of being snowflakes, and I think throughout the series, Kim shows that she is absolutely the antithesis of a snowflake. She's a real kick-ass young woman who's absolutely fearless and afraid of nothing and nobody. Obviously the producers of Two Weeks to Live had no idea what kind of environment or world that they'd be releasing it to, but if you're looking for a dystopian future where a character comes blinking into the sun after a, an enforced lockdown, then you're not going to get much better than Two Weeks to Live. Look at him. I bet that's how he dances. I mean, seriously, I know I messed up, but you're really going to choose him over me. How is it possible to know so little about the only person in the world you actually know? Mother-daughter comedies are usually really safe, but Two Weeks to Live is the exact opposite to that. It's intriguing and really exciting. I love them. God, I've It's absolutely the sort of show that my son and I enjoy. We loved watching it together and we bonded over it the way that Kim and Tina might bond over setting landmines in the woods. Dear Mum, I'm sorry for leaving, but I have to go. So there you have it. If you thought your mum was a pain, at least she's not having a go at you for not skinning a deer properly. All episodes of Two Weeks to Live are available to watch on Sky now.